Greetings and salutations, Series 7 test-taking weekend warriors. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request. The best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you don't have a Kaplan QBank, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement as well as the Kaplan Quick Sheets. With my Guru 10 discount code at checkout, uh, you can get it for about 60 bucks and the quick sheets are about 20 and uh, we'll help you with any questions just easier if it's a Kaplan question, because you can just send me the QID. This is QID 1264356. If a municipal bond with 10 years to maturity is purchased from the issuer at 110. So first thing you have to do as a test taker is recognize that this is a muni bond purchased at a premium. A muni bond purchased at a premium. So we paid 1100 it has 10 years to maturity. Now, the IRS thinks you don't take your last buck and uh, buy a muni bond. They think if you have a muni bond, you have other things. And they think what you'd like to do is realize that, you know, at par, 1,000, that loss whenever it's convenient for you. So the IRS says, no, 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 no. If you buy a municipal bond at a premium, you have to do straight line amortization downward. Straight line amortization upward is called accretion. Straight line amortization downward is called decretion, not a test term, just a dean term, decretion. So we have to decrete this bond. Uh, so after two years, we've held it, uh, we sell it for 110. Okay, so let's do the setup here. Boom, so here's the uh, pertinent information. There's a little visual of what's going on. We bought the bond for 1,100 at maturity 10 years from now. We're gonna get 1,000. So by holding it to maturity, kind of like the first step to maturity, if you will, we're losing $200 or excuse me, $100 over 10 years. So $100 over 10 years is $10 is the adjustment we need to make each year. So as it says here, we've held it for two years. So our original cost base was $1,100. If we've held it for two years and we should have been decreting $10 a year, that means our adjusted cost base is $1,080. That's the $20 adjustment that we've made. And then it says we sell the bond for $1,100. So if you miss this completely, you're going to say neither a gain nor a loss. But no, you've actually recaptured two points or $20. That's the right answer. We actually have a two point or $20 capital gain. So about 50% probability that you might have to do this on your Series 7 exam. Uh, I think you should embrace anything as practical application because there's no interpretation of a practical application question about what the right answer is. So hope you found that helpful. Uh, remember, inch by inch, your Series 7 is a cinch, and yard by yard, your Series 7 is hard, and I'll see you for the next explication request.